Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing how to edit OpenStreetMap using the Strava heat map as your base layer. I'm going to show you how to do it, I'm going to show you why you should do it, and I'm going to give it an example with this trail right here. So first, the how. Go to background settings, select custom map, and paste in this URL that I will have in the description. If you hit OK and switch to it, you can see that this is the Strava heat map. This map comes from people using the Strava app to track their workouts, like going on a run in this case, because this is a trail in the woods or maybe a bike ride, I don't know. And among all the Strava users, it becomes a heat map showing um, pretty much every trail in the world. The reason why you might want to edit using the Strava heat map is pretty simple. If I switch back to the Bing aerial imagery, you can see that, imagine this is, this is the trail that I'm going to be using for this example. You can see in the very beginning where it goes, but then it immediately enters some trees. I have absolutely no idea where the trail is from satellite imagery. If I switch to Strava, I can clearly see the shape of the trail. So I can make little adjustments to make it match better the true route of the trail as opposed to what it previously was. This can actually be more accurate than using satellite imagery. In this particular case, this is a very hilly area. I know because I've been there. And unless the satellite imagery was taken from a straight top-down view, which is rare, it's going to have to be reprojected according to the hills and valleys of the area based on a height map of the area. For example, for things like trees, that can make the height map a little bit confused where you're seeing the surface of the tree but you really want to be tracking where the path is. In OpenStreetMap, we want to select all of our nodes to be where each thing physically is in GPS coordinates. It's not correct to do what a satellite sees if what a satellite sees is not correct. Um, with the Strava heat map, we can see where actual GPS units have gone along this path dozens, hundreds of times, who knows, and built up over time the average, so to speak, of what the path is. For example, for this one, yeah, probably hundreds have gone along here, and if we make the path follow the center of this, that'll be significantly more accurate than what the satellite imagery shows. For example, even though this path goes along this line and the satellite imagery shows this, I am more confident that this is the more accurate route for the path because it's right in the center of the average of all these many tracks that have gone along that route in real life. And that is how you use Strava imagery to edit in OpenStreetMap. You simply select the background, paste in the URL, hit OK, and that's it. Pretty easy. Thank you for watching, and I may post more OpenStreetMap tips in the future.